you might be wondering why the straights between the hairpins are so short. Well, this is to simulate what it'd be like to race on a real mountain. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. Speed does not come easy on this course, but you have to find it somewhere if you're going to make it to the final. First set of five, there'll be 10 sets of five. The winner from each will head to the semifinals, which will trim down to the finals in short order. Right now it's looking pretty good for the 80. Corvette here on the near side who comes across a couple lengths ahead. And we'll kick things off well. And this group is Corvettes. We've seen Lamborghinis. We've seen the Mario characters. And we've seen other groups. And it's time for the Corvettes to take the stage. Grand Sport here looking in lane two, starting out pretty fast. 75 Stingray as well. Looks good for the first couple of turns, now starts to drop back. Here comes a 63 Corvette here on the near side. Starting to pick it up here. We have a final straight. Can he pull ahead? But no, it looks like the Stingray in the middle. Not the 75. Lag back there in lane five. Next set. We have a Warner in there at 206 as well, taking that middle lane. The one right here on the new side, not looking very good for the first couple of turns. Very slow, and it seems to be a two-car race, maybe even a one-car race, as a CR7 really starts to break away towards the final couple of hairpins, and it's going to be no contest. D7R. That's a good few lengths between him and even second place. Next set, another Grand Sport in there. Another Stingray. And let's see if we can start off strong. Looking good for the Corvette right now. The 80 in lane two. And what about the blue Corvette here in the near lane? Trying to catch up and looking good through those small hairpins. Really able to get some whiplash out of speed there. He's even, but can't get around the 80 Corvette through the final straight. And it'll be lane four. I'm going to take this one. We got a gas monkey in there. Greenwood. Ooh, Greenwood edges out early on, but it starts to fall back here. Not good on the hairpins. Gas monkey actually turning pretty well, but overtaken by the Callaway there for a moment, and it's kind of a heat between them. How will things look towards the final straight? Ooh, the Callaway holding by a length. Had a good lead and, and took care of that. A couple stingrays in there. And they're on the left side. And this one, we have a stingray and a stingray concept newer model. And uh, overshadowed right now by the C7R. We saw one of those models win earlier on and looking pretty good right now. The concept trying to hold true at the end. And he will get acceleration down the hill. And lane four once again. You could debate back and forth which lane gives you the most advantage, but they all kind of average out to the same size turn. You have a big turn here, and you have a really tiny one there, and that's how that Stingray looks to be out in front through all the even-numbered turns. And sometimes being right in the middle and having the same turn to fall into a rhythm with is the best way to go. And, well, it wasn't that time in the ZR1. My hood length will... Hold it in lane five. Starts off with a tiny turn, ends with a large one, which can be tough. Mm, but not if you're fast. Next set of vehicles. Got a black ZR1 in the middle. ZR1 also in blue in the pink lane and coming out very strong. Only car even near him is the 80 Corvette who just bobbled his way through that fifth straight. Mm, well, it's going to end like that. ZR1. Lane one. And lanes have been very riotous today as far as the winning lane. We have a split widow in there, a Corvette. 63 and a Stingray. Stingray I'm holding good pace with the C6. He starts to drop back here, but now grabs back the lead on the inside turn. It's going to be close here at the end. Here comes the other blue C6 in the pink lane, and he's going to come out of nowhere. 
He was back in fourth place or less earlier on. And he really picked it up here at the end, and, and these two were going at it so badly they didn't even notice it. We got a Callaway in there, a Warner. Callaway, a nice spoiler on the back, Warner. Nice decoration there on the front hood. And this is the Grand Sport in the middle lane there, coming out strong and just holding through that solid lead towards the end. Warner tried to whip through and find acceleration at the end, but his wheel got caught in the pink lane there, and hmm, it will be the Grand Sport. Advancing to the next round, here are your 10. And the next round, well, we're here. First to win two races, consistency always being key, especially when we look to five lanes. First set of five. Who's going to be a favorite early on? You only need two. Mm -hmm. Good to start strong if you can. It's ZR1 right now, really leading the pack. Can we do it for more than one race? This one at least looks like it will be a point for him, ZR1. Mm -hmm. It will be a point. One point for the ZR1. Pushing in lane two. Now he shifts over to lane three. Eyes on him right now. Who starts to come out? Another ZR1. This time the blue one here in the pink lane. Uh, he's moving quickly as well. And it will be competition at the end. The final turn. And it will be the blue ZR1. He had that inside line. And he just pushed way out in front. Didn't have too much di distance to cover there through the final hairpin. And he'll grab a point for himself. And he change lanes once again. This time, the two ZR1s staggered in lane 4 and 2, 2 being the blue, and 4 being the yellow, and it looks close right here, but I think it's the blue ZR1 to close the door on this semifinals. And, well, the next group knows ZR1s to be found, so he'll be facing a model of different likeness from here. This group of five. We have Grand Sport in there. Stingray Concept. Remember the concept. Mm. Good uh, back half performance from him in the previous group. And it looks strong for him right now. C6 start trying to break away, but the concept not letting it happen. He's within a length. Oh, bad turn at the end. C6. Bright yellow car. Sporting a very dangerous looking black stripe down the middle. And speed was there. Stingray Concept, again, coming out strong, trying to hold a lead. But now we have different looks from the 80 Corvette, who's trying to pick up a point right here. And the Stingray gets lost in the pack again. The C6 can't get around. That's a hood length. And the 80 Corvette. And we'll put a point up on the board. Now things are really staggered here. Stingray Concept still in the threat position to win. He's racing well right now, but it just looks like it's tough for him towards the last few turns. He's starting to drop back again. He's neck and neck, but not anymore. No acceleration at the bottom, and it will be the Grand Sport to pick up a point. Now things have shaken up. Three cars, all with a point. Oh, how's that going to turn out? I know, it looks like the C6 finally coming back with some sort of conviction here at the end, but also the 80 Corvette acceleration at the end. No, it will be the C6. It was close, but the C6 is your finals competitor alongside, of course, the ZR7. The ZR1. ZR1, C6. Blue and yellow starting in the far lanes here. And where things are tight in the even numbered turns. They will both whip out with some good speed in the final turn. C6 looking pretty good on his own turns, but the even turns are for the other ZR1. And there's a half length win right there. And he has one of three. And change lanes again. And this time the C6 gets to take to the inside. He did not get a good start, though, and he's down a bunch of lengths. It's going to be hard for him to come back, and it might be the ZR1 once again. Yes, that's a many lengths between them, and he's not slowing down anytime soon. Switch it up again. C6. 
trying to edge out here, trying to find an advantage early on so we can coast to victory in the final lap. Right now, the turns back toward the near side have been good for the C6, and you can see the length between them. And now the C6 puts a point on the board. Mm, fast start for the C6 ahead on the back turns. On the forward turns, it's even now for the ZR1. He has the lead. He's coming back. You can see the momentum shift here at the end. C6 in the yellow lane. No, it's not going to happen. And 3-1 to one being the score. The ZR1 will take the win today here at the Corvettes Tournament. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Races and Fun. And we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.